Hi and welcome back. In the last video we set up our site for our Manchester project. In this video we're going to go ahead and set up the main page HTML. Now again you've got to have some sort of a model to follow and here we have the completed site but if you've got um, your own design that you're following you're going to use your sketches for this um, part of the exercise. The first thing you need to do before you start writing any HTML is you need to decide where your different containers or where your different divs are going to go on the page. And this is very easy to do. Just take a look at your design. And you can see here, first off, I have this top area here. And the top area really has two different elements in it. I have my logo over here to the left and I have my social media icons to the right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start jotting this information down because I'm going to need that. Um, you can see I'm going to use Microsoft Word here. You can write this down on a piece of paper or whatever you want. But I have the top area. And inside of the top area, I have the logo. And then I've got the social media to the right. Then, coming down to the next line here, you can see I've got an area for my top navigation where all my links are going to go. So I have my top nav area, I'm going to call that. And then below that, I have this rotating banner area. So I'm going to have a section and I'm going to call it banner. And then below that, I have this large content area that, again, is divided into two sections, sort of the main content right here and my right-hand sidebar right here. So I'm going to go ahead, and this is the content area. And inside of that, I have my main content and my right side um, area. And then down at the very bottom, we have a footer area. So I have footer. Once you've got this sketched out here, you're going to know exactly what divs you need to create on your page. So now let's go ahead and go into Dreamweaver. And you can see I've got my main.html file right here that we created in the last video. And I'm going to go ahead and open that on up. And again, we deleted everything that Dreamweaver had placed into this file. Uh, but if you didn't in that last step, just do um, edit, select all, and then press delete to delete everything. Now, you'll remember from our test site that the very first thing that we place inside of our HTML file is going to be the doc type statement. And if I click this drop down arrow right here, you can see all the projects that you have defined inside of Dreamweaver. And here is that my first website project that we were just working on. I'm going to switch into that and open up index.html. And you can see there's that doc type statement. And again, that should be the very first thing that goes into your document there. And you can just type that in. After that, we're going to have an opening HTML tag. And whenever I open a tag, I'm always going to go ahead and close it. So I have an opening HTML tag and a closing HTML tag. And then you'll remember there were two distinct sections inside of our HTML, head and body. Head where we placed instructions for the browser, and body where we put the content that we want our user to see. So I'm going to go ahead and create the head section here. And again, close that. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the body section. And then go ahead and close that. Whenever I open a tag, I'm always going to close it. We've seen one exception to that rule, the image tag. But again, that is the exception. The rule is whenever you open a tag, close a tag. And I always close the tag immediately after opening it, so I don't forget to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and save my document. And the first thing that I'm going to do is put the title into the head section. 
and that's actually going to be the only thing that I place inside of the head section um, at this point. And I'm just going to give this a title of Manchester Project. And then we come down to our body section. And again, this is where we place the content the user or our visitor is going to see. Now, this is where those notes are going to become important to you. Because again, these define all the different divs and the order that they're going to go in on your page. So the first thing I have is I have a div called top and inside of that I have another div called logo and a div called social media. So again, inside of my body section, and you can use as much or as um, little white space as you want to keep this organized, I'm going to go ahead and create div. I'm going to give it an ID of top. Remember, whenever you create a div, you always give it an identification so that we can um, identify it later on. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that. But then inside of top, we had two other containers. So we have this container and we've subdivided it down into a logo area and a social media area. So I'm going to go ahead and do div whoops, ID logo. And again, I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then I'm going to do div ID social media. and then I'm going to go ahead and close that div off. So we have one container that contains two subcontainers. After that we have our top navigation area and again you can have the completed design open and you can see what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a div and I'm going to give it an ID of TopNav. I'm going to close that off and then I'm going to go ahead and close that div off. And then we have our banner area. So I'm going to create a div and ID it as banner. And then we have the main content area and the main content area has two items inside of it main content and the right side so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing that I did up here for our top section I'm going to create a div and I'm going to ID it as content wrapper and then I'm going to go ahead and close that off and then I'm going to go ahead and create a div inside of it and call it content. And then I'm going to create a final div inside of there. And I'm going to give it an ID of right side. And again, you could be naming these divs whatever you want. There's no meaning to content wrapper. There's no meaning to the word banner or top nav. All they are is identifications. I could call the top navigation area Fred if I wanted to and I could call the banner area Wilma. Totally doesn't matter. Now it doesn't make any sense to call this Fred and Wilmer. So you want to make sure your your IDs make sense because you're going to need to refer to them. Um, later, but they can be called anything you want. You can't put any spaces inside of your IDs, but you can use dashes and underscores. And I usually use dashes because underscores can be a little bit hard to see sometimes. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and create a div for our footer. So I'm going to go ahead and do div ID footer 
and I'm going to go ahead and close that off and save my page. And at this point, I've set up the structure for my page. I've completed the third step whoops, in our process, creating the page structure in the HTML. We're now ready to go ahead and add the sample content to our structure so that we can actually begin to format it and begin to see our pages um, take shape. So the next step that we're going to go through is adding some sample content to our site. Um, now at this point you're going to have the option to use the resources that you can download um, for this series or create your own. If you want to download the materials for this um, project, there's a link in the description for this video. But you don't need to download them. If you want to use your own images and your own text and all, you know, come up with uh, your own items, that's perfectly fine. And I'll tell you the dimensions for the images and obviously you can type whatever text you want into um, these different um, areas. Um, but having the completed project as well as all the resources um, um, such as the text and the images and things like that may be very helpful for you. It'll definitely save you some time and some typing but you you definitely don't need um, um, the resources to go through this. If you do decide to download the resources and again there's a link in the description um, for this video to go to um, www.timothyframework.net if you go to that website you can download all the materials um, and the next video I'll show you how to set up those materials. If you're going to use your own materials you can go ahead and skip the next video and go to the one after that. Um, so that's basically where we're going to go from here. I'll see you in the next video.